Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G. Guys, today let's do something different because I've been asked by a Miss Philippines Earth candidate to accompany her to her courtesy call to Mayor Francis Zamora. Yup, Francis Zamora. So, alam nyo na kung ano yung town na, na inire-represent niya, di ba? So, tara, samahan natin siya. Let's go meet her because it's my first time to finally, finally meeting her. difference has brought our Mother Earth into a brink of destruction and I want to let everyone know that there are still some ways that we can do about it. Uh -huh. So, kahit simple ways lang yan, meron tayong magagawa. So, like yun, yung segregating. So, so you, can you tell us something more about yourself? I understand you took up travel management yes. in school. So, why did you take up that course? So, are you working now? Then? Yes. So, right now, I'm actually working as a freelance events model and host. And then I'm also an online entrepreneur. Simula no nag pandemic. So when, of course, the events was, syempre, next stop yung events industry for a while. So I uh, I had to do another thing for a living. So I had to do the online business. And then, kaya hindi ako nag push through with being a flight attendant or anything inclined with my course. It's because I have scoliosis and <laughs> medyo. Oh. Yes, I just scared na baka maano ako, hindi ako matanggap sa mga airline because I have this. It's actually not mild, uh -huh. it's mid severe. Uh -huh. So yeah, pero ayun, uh, ito yung parang first step ko to parang conquer my fear nga with regards to my scoliosis. So ito, here I am in front of you guys. So this is your first national pageant. Yes. Right? So what among all the national pageants we have here in the Philippines, what made you attracted to Miss Earth? Okay, so what actually made me attracted to Miss Earth is that they are not just a beauty pageant na puro glamour lang. Of course, lahat naman ng beauty pageant, most of them have ad advocacy, di ba? But for this one, it's related to the environment and it's close to my heart since my very first pageant when I was still in school was Miss Ecology. Oh, so okay. it's actually inspired by Miss Earth. So three hours pa lang yung parang focus nila noon. But here in Miss Earth, we have five hours, di ba? Yeah. So yeah, so that's actually close to my heart and I wanted to uh, have my first national pageant with Miss Earth because of that. So, as we all know, the, the setup for this year's pageant is virtual again. Yes. So, how have, you been, how have you been preparing for it? 
since iba yung setup yes. compared to the traditional. Okay, so with regards to the traditional, kasi hindi ko pa alam kung paano talaga di ba yung national pageant setup ng physical. Mm -hmm. But then I think okay naman yung sa virtual. It's just that I have to find my own glam team, my own photography, media, and stuff. Yung mga talagang kukuha sa'yo, studio, ganyan. So, ayun. Yun yung parang pinaka... Hindi naman siya hassle, pero that's what's parang making this uh, a part dun sa physical pageant. So, parang ikaw talaga yung gagastos dun sa everything. Regards. I'm curious to ask, anong mas magastos? Mag-prepare for a virtual setup or for a traditional setup? O same lang? I think same lang. It depends. I was actually ask, asking my glamping nga kasi yung isang candidate nila yung binibili. Uh -huh. Tapos, syempre, medyo semi, ano sala, semi-physical na semi-virtual in a way. Yeah. Pero, pareho siyang mag to say. So, I think same lang. Ah, oh, alright. So, what have you, since joining Miss Philippines Earth, what have you learned about our environment in the days of your advocacy? Yeah, so with regards to my advocacy, my advocacy is actually pandemic in the ocean floor. So with regards to that, of course, di ba, meron na tayong existing water pollution right now. And then, nadagdagan pa siya ng mga PPEs yes. natin, like yung face masks, latex gloves, yes. and yung mga sinusuot natin pang laban nga sa coronavirus. And I think, parang sobrang nakaka-alarm siya. Kasi last year lang, di ba, yung first part is we were very actually helpful to the environment kasi nag-stop yung operations ng mga businesses, mga factories. But then, yung nangyari naman is that no, dumami naman yung garbage with regards to sa medical waste or yung tinatawag natin COVID waste. So that's what made me parang parang yung gusto ko i-advocate for. Kasi in the long run, kapag ka nagsuloy-tuloy yung improper disposal natin ng mga COVID waste na to, yung parang mas naging harmful pa yung pandemic talaga. Hence, pandemic din sa ocean floor. Yeah. So, yeah. how do you propose to solve this problem? Itong excessive hospital waste natin right now brought by the pandemic. Okay. So actually, as a San Juan Enyo, we have this policy which is the no segregation, no collection policy. And it is strictly implemented in our city since November 2020. And then, yung sabi nila doon is that we have to segregate not only yung biodegradable, recyclable, non-recyclable, but also yung COVID waste. Yeah. So, dapat meron tayong separate bin for medical waste para hindi na natin ma-spread yung virus lalo. Nakatulong pa tayo sa environment. So, yeah. Yun, as in, mag-propose ako talaga na dapat meron tayong separate medical bin or waste yeah. bin for that. Especially for that. So, ultimately, how do you think uh, this... Do you think our country has a, sol uh, a concrete solid waste management program for our environment? To be honest, I think that our country has a poor urban planning. I mean, we have great plans. We have great parang mga, mga gusto talagang i-gawin. It's just that, hindi naman sa una lang magaling. It's just siguro nandito rin sa discipline ng mga Pilipinos na nasa atin din kasi talaga. It's in the people. It's not just the governance ng mga leaders natin. It's also within us. So I think if we start this in our households, bababasa natin siya to our brothers and sisters, younger people sa atin, pati dun din sa mga workplaces natin. Yeah, we're down to my last few questions. Yeah. So, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you hope to achieve uh, with your candidacy here in this? Okay, so I hope to achieve to become the woman, the best version of myself, the best version of myself. Because of course, I already have this parang self doubt talaga sa akin eh. And then I wanted to prove not to anyone but to myself that I can do it, that I can become your Miss Philippines Earth 2021. And I believe na kaya ko siya. I believe that I can yes. do the responsibilities and I can become your advocate. Kasi yung physical na na. Miss Philippines, you can't Yeah, so <laughs> how have you been sizing up the competition so far? So far, no one's so good because we uh, naman naman siya. We're just araw araw lang talaga para one day at a time lang yung mga tasks kasi sobrang dami talaga namin kailangan gawin na dami mm -hmm. namin mga competitions every week so every Sunday so next start na nga kami last time no casual wear right mm -hmm. and then we will be having the beach wear competition this Sunday and then yung sa mga susunod pa kailangan namin siya shoot ahead of time so parang ayun naman okay naman siya so far I think okay naman kami I think we're doing our, our team is doing good naman so yeah. far 
with Sir Edge Kuno. Yes, you know, with their as, help. Oh. And your, your <laughs> glam, glam team. So, last question, can you invite all your friends and supporters mm -hmm. as, who have, or can you give a message to them? Okay. Um, for those people who have been moving for you, cheering for you to become the next Miss Philippines here. Isang mga kalikasang araw po sa inyo lahat. I'm Eliza Nisidilia, your Miss Philippines Earth San Juan City. And I would just like to thank everyone po na nagsusupport sa akin and nagsusupport po sa family namin. I would like to say thank you sa family ko, sa friends ko, and sa mga teachers ko na mentors ko na nagsusupport sa akin all the way. And I would just like to ask for, uh, sana supportahan nyo ako all the way, kahit first national pageant po to. And I hope that we win, guys. We can win this. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank, Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for this question. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Medyo awkward na may mas tayo. Mas ayaw niyo make-up ko. Di man na nakita yung mga. Mangyari po natin. Mangyari po natin. Mangyari po natin. Alright. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. I also like to So you need a physical setup para mag shoot ka. Ano yung backdrop ka lang? Ito po actually. Ang hindi mo set po po na sila. Pero papakita ka na dito ka nyo. Yung mga places na kung susutan mo na ay COVID yun. Are these the parang? Ah. Yes. Actually that's different. This was from ano po. Para for my sister. Salamat. Uh, welcome sa Office of the Vice Mayor. Pwede mo ba ka, Jake? Pwede naman. Ganyan na lang tayo para is, uh, save time lahat. No? Uh, upo po kayo. Uh, <coughs> salamat. Uh, talagang very, ano natin, uh, gusto natin ang ating San Juan ay maging drug year city. Uh, Katatapusan namin ang meeting sa Anti-Drug Abuse Council at yung ating uh, bagong uh, chief of police ng San Juan na ito ay hindi karangalan lang ni Vice Mayor bilang co-chairman hindi ito karangalan lang ni Mayor bilang chairman kundi karangalan ng isang barangay uh, council, barangay captain kung ang inyong barangay sa ilalim ng inyong pamumuno ay nag nag-drug clear at di ba, may pagmamalaki natin sa ating mga anak sa ating mga kabarangay na nung ako ang namumuno bilang, bilang barangay captain o bilang, uh, bilang uh, barangay kagawa o kami naman ay bilang uh, uh, vice mayor karangalan din ng chief PNP yan na, at ng national capital region regional director na sa kanilang pamumuno sa ilalim ng kanilang pamumuno na drug cleared nila sa loong buong NCR naka drug cleared sila ng isang city at ganun din kay chief, uh, PNP chief na sa kanyang leadership kauna-unahang may drug cleared na city sa buong Pilipinas. So, lahat yan ay collective effort. Yes. No, salamat yes. sa uh, nalit tayo ng konti dahil napahaba dahil may discussion. <laughs> eh, sabi ko kay AJ, <clears throat> uh, nag, nagpatong kasi yung schedule dapat 2 o'clock eh, di ba? Uh -huh. Sabi ko ba, pwede 3.30 kasi nakita ko mukhang medyo mahabang discussion oh. dahil uh, 21 barangays yung i-cater ko oh. uh, sabi ni Mayor, eh, ikaw ang umatid dyan <laughs> so, 